What's up guys, JB Tech here. So since my last Untethered Jailbreak, Resno has been updated three times already. So I wanted to kind of update you all with the latest Untethered Jailbreak, which is with Red Snow 0.9.10 before. Many people have been experiencing issues with like iBugs and Cydia and other issues here and there. But with this latest updated Red Snow, this does fix those issues. So with this, you'll be good to go. Before we do start, this Untethered Jailbreak currently only works on the iPhone 4, both GSM and CDMA models, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1, iPod Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation. Currently, iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 does not work with this, but they are releasing an Untethered Jailbreak really, really soon. I do have a video on that, so please check that out if you're interested with the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 jailbreaks. But like I said, they should be coming out with an Untethered Jailbreak really, really soon, as in a couple days. So be sure you subscribe to my channel because I will have a video up and running for you guys as soon as that comes out. I want to cover a few more things. If you are jailbroken already, please listen up closely because I do have some information that can be useful for y'all. Um, if you are running a Tether Jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1, you can download the latest version of Corona through Cydia by simply searching Corona 5.0.1 Untether and install that. This will actually convert you from being tethered to untethered. So just simply download that and install that and you'll be good to go. You will have the latest version of the Untether Jailbreak and with no problems and if you do have problems just let me know and I'll try to help you out. But there shouldn't be any problems because they did update Corona as well along with Red Snow. So go ahead and download that if you want to convert from Tether to Untethered running on iOS 5.0.1. And another thing if you are jailbroken already on iOS 5.0.1 with the past Red Snows like 0.9.10 B1, B2 or B3 then you can actually run this jailbreak over that by just running this latest version of Red Snow and on the whenever it does ask you to install Cydia just have that unchecked so you'll be good to go if you have that unchecked and then just keep doing your thing with Red Snow and you'll be good to go so now that we got all of that out of the way let's go ahead and begin with the Untethered Jailbreak so first what we will need is of course a compatible iDevice which these are going to be the iPhone 4, the iPad 1 the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation, those are all compatible as long as you're running iOS 5.0.1. And also we will need the latest version of Red Snow which is 0.9.10b4 which can be found on senseiphone.com. I will have the direct link of that in the description bar. We can download the Windows version of Red Snow or the Mac version, whichever one you are jailbreaking with. Once we do have Red Snow and you do have iOS 5.0.1 running on your iDevice, we're ready to begin jailbreaking. So for Mac users, we will simply open up Red Snow. And if you are running this on a Windows computer, go ahead and right click on Red Snow and then run as administrator. You must do that or this may fail for you. So don't want to have any problems so be sure you run as an administrator. Once we do have this opened up, we'll simply click on jailbreak and on this screen is just telling us to turn off our device and have it plugged in. So of course be sure you have it plugged in and you do have it turned off. So go ahead and turn off your iDevice and I will do that right now. Go ahead and turn that off. I already have it plugged in through my dock of course right here. So I'm good to go on that. And if you already know how to put your device on DFU mode, so go ahead and do that now. But if not, if you're new to jailbreaking and you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I will walk you through this. And what we'll simply have to do once we do click next on here and our iDevice is turned off, we have to hold down the power button for three seconds and then keep holding down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, we will let go of the power button and keep holding down the home button. Normally it's about 8 seconds, but it does tell you to hold down for 15, so if you want to just be safe, hold down for 15 seconds until the screen changes. But anyways, let's go ahead and start this. Alright, so we'll be ready to go ahead and hold down the power button. I'm going to have my finger on it and when I hit next. So hit next and now hold down the power button for 3 seconds. And now hold both power button and the home button for 10 seconds. Now we will let go of the power button, but be sure to keep holding down the home button or else this will fail. So now, as you see, it is now identifying my firmware and everything. If your firmware does not get identified, 
so don't worry all you have to do is actually download the firmware of 5.0.1 for your device and where we did have the first screen pop up when we opened up Red Snow where it says jailbreak and extras go ahead and hit extras and then you will select IPSW and then from there you will select the IPSW aka firmware that you downloaded and then basically you will have to direct Red Snow to that firmware because it probably didn't detect it for some reason but that's only if you had problems with this detection of the firmware if you didn't have problems then your screen should look like this where it says up here please select your options for and then this is my firmware right here 94 or 9A405 right there and I see 5.0.1 so like I said earlier if you already are jailbroken and you're running this over your past jailbreak go ahead and uncheck install Cydia that's only if you are already jailbroken if you aren't jailbroken yet if you're doing this fresh and everything be sure to install Cydia have that checked or else this will fail so be sure you have that checked and then now we are ready to hit next and now really this is that that's all you got to do guys this will take a couple minutes so we'll just let this sit I will go ahead and fast forward this and give you some awesome music that you can find down in the description below but you will get this coding matrix kind of thing people say um, don't worry this is normal so let this run through and you'll be good to go but like I said I will leave y'all with some badass music Alright guys, so now that that has loaded up and it has jailbroken, you are actually jailbroken now as you do see if we just scroll over to the right. We do have Cydia right there, so simply open that up and then if you're new to jailbreaking and you don't know what you're really doing, go ahead and hit on user and if not then hacker, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do hacker and I'm just going to hit done on the top right and you're done jailbroken guys. So. That's it for this video guys, hope y'all enjoyed this and I hope you got this working smoothly like I did just now and if you don't please leave any questions or comments down there in the section below and I'll be happy to help you guys but if this video helped you out guys go ahead and hit that like button in the bottom left and also of course if you have any comments suggestions or anything like that for my next video or if you have any comments about this video and you have any questions like I said leave that in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top I would really appreciate it if you do want more information about the iPhone 4s and the iPad 2 until the jailbreak be sure to click on the link on the screen or you can also check it out in the description below I will have a link to my video giving you a little more detail of when it's supposed to be released and all of that good stuff so be sure you subscribe because I will have an untethered jailbreak of the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 when that is released as soon as it's released so be sure you subscribe but that's it for this video I will catch you on the next one guys thanks for watching peace